Hello, and welcome to the Oracle Apex Tutorial 3, Creating a Drill Down Report, Part 1, brought to you by MS Consulting. This portion of the tutorial covers creating the application and creating and modifying the first report. On the screen is displayed the article link, which has more in-depth information about this tutorial, as well as the starting point and assumptions for this tutorial. As usual, the first thing we need to do in order to be able to create the application and begin the tutorial is to actually log into Apex. Do this by whatever method you choose. And once again, you need to make sure that you're logging in with an account that has at least developer level rights and has access to the OEHR sample data. Once you're in, we're going to go to our application builder tab and we're going to click on create an application and create an application and click next the name of this uh, tutorial is drill down report so that will be the name of our application you can leave the application ID as it is we are creating it from scratch and we're using the default schema click next now we're going to add a total of two blank pages to this but we're going to give them names so we're going to select blank for our first page and we're going to give it a name of orders and we're going to click add page and then we're going to go ahead and we're going to make sure that we select another blank page and we're going to scroll down and it asks us what page it's subordinate to. In this case, it's going to be subordinate to the first page we created, the orders page. And we're going to make this page be called order items. Get that set and click add page. And we have both our page there. And you can see that page two is indented some, showing that it is subordinate to the first page. Click next. We only need one layer of tabs, so we can go ahead and click Next. Again, we do not need any shared components from other applications. Our attributes are all fine as they are, but you can double check them if you choose. Click Next. And it's going to ask us which visual theme we want. We're going to use theme number two. Click Next and it will ask us to confirm our choices and click create now the next thing we have to do is we have to create the first report Now, ordinarily you could do this by clicking into the page that you want and then go from there but in this case we're going to use a different method so we're going to start by actually clicking the create page button on the screen and this is going to be a report page and we're going to use the wizard report and it's going to ask us the page number now we're going to actually change it to say page one so this will actually put it into the existing page the page title is going to be called orders and the region title is going to be called orders as well and you can leave the region template and the breadcrumb selections alone and then you click next we do not need to use tabs for this tables and columns we make sure that our table view owner is where our schema is for OEHR under table view we're going to click our search button and select OEHR orders this will bring up a list of all available columns we need to select the order ID the order date and the order total and then click the arrow pointing to the right to push them into the displayed columns now we're actually going to go back up and in the table view we're going to select the OEHR customers you'll notice a much shorter list because it only shows you related tables at, the, at this point in time over here we're going to select customer last name and click right to put it into the 
into the displayed columns list and then we're going to click next. Since we're using from two different columns it will show us what the join conditions are for the two tables. In this case it's already filled in correctly for right now. And then here it asks us some questions about the options for the report and they're all fine. And then we're going to double check our selections and click confirm and create the report. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to test it. So we're going to click run. And since it's the first time we're using the application this session, it's going to ask us to log in using our username and password. And as you can see, here is our report. Now, sadly, these order dates are a little hard to, to read. They're not real friendly. And the order totals are raw integers, even though they should be dollar amounts. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and we're going to change these so that the report is a little easier to read for the naked eye, I guess you could say. So we're going to come down here to the bottom. We're going to click Edit Page 1. And then under Page Rendering Regions, zoom out a little bit here, under Page Editing Regions, we're going to select the Orders Report link. And we're going to click the Order Date column. And click the icon to the left of it to edit it. And then we're going to click on the Formatting tab up at the top. And then we're going to click our search button for our number date format, which will bring up a list of all available formats for that column type as it's defined in the table definition. In this case, we're going to select the one that displays day, th the three-letter code for the month, and then the full four-digit year. And then we're going to click Apply Changes. And it takes us back to our region attributes, or report attributes screen and we're going to go to order title and we're going to click the edit icon to the left of that and you'll see that Apex remembered what tab we were on so we're already in the formatting tab so we're going to go to number date format and we're going to select the one that shows us the dollar sign with two decimal points and that long string is the Apex formatting control string for that format. So don't worry about that. That's what it's supposed to look like. You see that that's completely done and updated, so we're going to rerun it. And now our dates and our order totals are much more readable, which will make this a lot easier for us. And that's it for this first part of the tutorial. The next part of the tutorial will cover creating the second report and linking all the items. So to prepare for that, I'm going to go back to my Application 104 screen from the bottom. And that puts me back at this page, and we'll see you in the next part.